Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. God wants you to know that he is rewarding you with a spouse who will love and respect you. All of that heartache and pain is going away. Okay, I need you to hear this word. So the Lord began to uh, speak to me last night um, regarding Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. And it reads, the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow with it. I began to look up, you know, these words um, in a concordance. The blessing means a gift. God is telling you right now, he's giving you a gift, okay, for all the time you had to suffer. He said, I'm rewarding you with his best. I need you to type that in the comment section. God is rewarding me with his best, okay? I looked up the word sorrow, um, and sorrow means pain, hurt, toil, labor, hardship, and offense. Let's go back to the scripture. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22 say, the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich. And he, who is he? God. And he has no sorrow with it. Sorrow comes from the enemy. That hurt and pain that you are enduring, enduring has come from the enemy. That betrayal, that was the enemy. Okay? That the rejection that came from the enemy. God said, and he has no sorrow with it. This makes me remember, it reminds me of Jeremiah 29, 11, where it says, for I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you see god has plans to prosper you but the enemy has plans to harm you okay so god said keep praying his word over your love story because as you pray the word of god this is how this is how this gift is coming about okay this is how the scriptures say he has no sorrow with it while you are in this divine separation god is working out He's driving away the sorrow, okay? All of that heartache and pain, he's driving that away. The bitterness, the anger, the resentment, he's moving it out of the way. He's getting it, he's purging it out of the heart. This is what God is doing during divine separation, okay? God said all of the heartache and pain is going away. All of the toiling, all of that hard work you've been doing, laboring over this love story, Okay, God said, as you continue to speak his word over this love story, over your life, over your spouse's life, you are going to see. You're going to see the very thing that you've been speaking over your love story come to life. It's going to be raised back to life, okay? This is how this gift is coming about. God said, all of the hate that has been directed towards you, the anger, the dislike, okay? Whatever you've been enduring, he said, it's going away. God said, it's all going away. It has to line up with the scripture. God's word cannot return back to him void. It must go out and accomplish the purpose for which you sent it. So if you send it out, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he has no sorrow with it. The promise cannot come back with sorrow. The promise has to come back with love and respect. The promise has to come back treating you right. The promise has to come back adoring you being nice and kind towards you. Do you understand this? God said you will no longer have to beg for your spouse's attention. He said all of that neglect is going away. Okay, he wants you to get excited. He said your wants and needs will be met. Don't worry. God said he's doing the unthinkable. He's doing the unimaginable. He's doing the unspeakable. You won't be able to comprehend how this thing came about. Scripture say, not by might nor by power, but by God's spirit will you see this thing happen for you, okay? I need you to speak the word over your life. Speak the word over your spouse. Speak the word over their mind. Speak the word over their thoughts. Speak the word over their heart. Speak God's word. This is how this thing is going to come about. But God is restoring your love story like it never happened. He's restoring you like the heartbreak. The rejection never happened, okay? Get excited. But God said he's rewarding you for all the time that you've been suffering and sacrificing God. He said, I, I see it. He said, all of this, your weight hasn't been in vain. He's rewarding you, and he's giving you his best. He's rewarding you with a spouse who will come back and love and respect you. Your spouse is going to adore you. Your spouse is going to love you. Your spouse is going to meet your affection need. Your spouse is going to give you the attention you 
desire. Your spouse is going to protect you. Your spouse is going to provide for you. Your spouse is going to support you. Your spouse is going to respect you. Your spouse is going to, you know, um, build you up and give you those words of affirmation, the support, you know, the appreciation that you've been looking for. Your spouse is coming back better than before. I need y'all to get excited. God said he's rewarding you with a spouse who will love and respect you. That is it. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.